its lineage all the way back to 1629 when Samuel Sharp was named Master Gunner of Ordnance of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. During World War I, the Ordnance Corps assumed the Army's maintenance management function and during World War II assumed its third core function of Explosive Ordnance Disposal or EOD. <laughs>
soldiers have completed training from nine weeks to 33 weeks in length and will graduate today and join our ranks as ordnance soldiers. The official party for today's ceremony is Captain Showitz, First Sergeant Allen. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation given by Chaplain Morris Gomez in the play of the National Anthem. Latoya Denson. 
The drill sergeant for class 91 Echo 024 is. Drill sergeant Ryan Kressler. The drill sergeant for classes 91 Fox 069 and 070 is. Drill sergeant Azra Holmes. Please give a warm round of applause to thank our dedicated and talented drill sergeant. Please join me in a warm ordinance school welcome for our guest speaker, Captain Schultz. Good morning, distinguished guests, fellow cadre, family, and friends. On behalf of Lieutenant Colonel Robinson and Command Sergeant Major Grant, welcome to the individual training graduation for the 882nd Ordnance Battalion here at the home of Ordnance. I'd like to, to extend a special thank you to the families and friends for attending today's ceremony. Thank you for our continuing and waving support you have shown to your soldiers throughout this training. Soldiers, as one of your many leaders you have interacted with through your time here, it is my honor and privilege to congratulate you for your many accomplishments during your training. You have endured challenging academics and specialized skills and rigorous physical training, both during FPT and in the field of ODX. They have stats your abilities to be physically, mentally, and emotionally resilient. Whether you realize it or not, all the training you have been through in the early mornings and long nights, they have been accustomed to here. You serve it greatly in your professional soldiers. Understand that each one of you here sitting today voluntarily raise your right hand and swore or affirmed your allegiance and support in defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies. I challenge you reflect on your decision to serve in this profession and understand that the decisions you make are a representation of the United States Army and not just yourself. Serve selflessly as your better bodies to your left and right and your friends and family back home are depending on you. In closing, I'd like to say one more thing. During the course of your career, for your time to your time, I promise you there is more than just video games and the bunk in your confined rooms in the barracks to occupy your personal time. You get stationed all over the world to places you probably never get to go if you're not in the military. Get culture, explore, expose yourself, and grow as a well-rounded person. Go to school, take classes, take classes. Never stop being intellectually curious. Lastly, do not forget about your friends and family back home. They are worried for you, and I'm sure you make their day if you call them every now and then. Soldiers, I wish you the best of luck, and I'm excited for each one of you here today to answer the next chapter of your life. So I have support, hard to spare, go ordinance. Go ordinance! Thank you, Captain Schultz. We will now proceed with today's graduation ceremony. Will you please direct your attention to my left as we present the graduates. Left face, forward mark. In each class, soldiers with the highest academic standings are recognized as a distinguished honor graduate. To be a distinguished honor graduate, the soldier must maintain an academic average above 95%, have the highest academic average of their class, and meet or exceed the professional standards of conduct expected of today's soldier. The distinguished honor graduate will be receiving an Army Achievement Medal. The distinguished honor graduate for class 91 Charlie-037 is Private Elijah Trzinski, Fort Richardson, Alaska. <laughs> the distinguished honor graduate for class 91 Delta-043 is Private First Class, Jasper Garcia Moore, Fort Irwin, California. The Distinguished Honor Graduate for Class 91 Echo-024 is Private First Class, Christian Navarro, California National Guard. The 
distinguished honor graduate for <coughs> class 91 Fox-069 is from the first class Ethan Mason, North Carolina National Guard. For more. The distinguished honor graduate for class 91 Fox 070 is Prophet Justice Dash for Stuart Georgia. of their class have an academic average of 90% or above and meet or exceed the professional standards of conduct expected of today's soldier. The honor graduate will be receiving a certificate of achievement. The honor graduate for class 91 Charlie-037 is Private First Class Evans Kabir, Kansas National Guard. Delta-043 is Special Estella to me, Fort Stewart, Georgia. The honor graduate for class 91 Echo-024 is Frederick Thomas Heberlin, Ohio National Guard. Graduate for class 91 Fox 069 is Specialist Lane Anthon, Fort Drum, New York. <laughs> the honor graduate for class 91 Fox 070 is Private Samuel Choi, Fort Drum, New York. Class, soldiers who score a 540 or above on the Army Combat Fitness Test are recognized as the Iron Soldier. The Iron Soldier for Class 91 Delta-043 is Private First Class Jesse Huomoyby, Massachusetts National Guard. of the remaining graduates. Please hold your applause until all graduates have crossed the stage. Mark McQuaylor Avenue, Italy.
Remember Team Train for Lewis Washington. Specialist Christopher Smith, Army Reserve with duty in Texas. Private Caden Wiseman, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. South Carolina. <laughs> Private Matthew Broder, Kentucky National Guard. Private First Class Rodney Cammon, Army Reserves in Georgia. Justin Dumoulin, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. <laughs> Private Aramis Fernandez, Florida, National Guard. Specialist Raheem George, Fort Eglin, Florida.
Private Corey Gilman, Korea. <laughs> Private Zachary Lake, Korea. Private Miguel Lopez, Army Reserve, <coughs> duty in Colorado. Private First Class Bernie Simpson, Korea. Private Brian Casanova, Tennessee National Guard. Private Caleb Grant, Fort Polk, Louisiana. Special Agent Jesse Hernandez, New York National Guard.
for your hard work and dedication. Okay, it is not easy, and yet you guys are here winning. So I appreciate you.
ceremony, please feel free to check out the artist's gift shop for